Well, a lot of people woke up to a larger account balance than they went to bed with thanks to an expansion of the child tax credit program. The Biden administration is, is distributing up to $3,600 for kids five and under, $3,000 for children six and up. The advance payments are only planned for this year, though Senator Michael Bennett would like to see it made permanent. We've got a proposal from the administration to take it out to 2025, so we're fighting for that. In the end, I hope we do make it permanent. The United States today has one of the highest child poverty rates in the country, in the world, in the industrialized world. Uh, and uh, there's no reason we should accept that as a permanent feature of our economy or of our democracy. 630,000 Colorado families stand to benefit from this. A few things they should know. Most don't have to do anything to get the money. However, if you don't typically file your taxes because of low income, then you will need to sign up through the IRS website and the payments will be monthly. You get half the credit now, half when you file later. So take that into account when considering your refund. And you can opt out of future payments and instead receive the cash as a lump sum when you file your taxes, if you so choose. And there are reasons to opt out beyond wanting all your money at once. Here with details on that, Denver 7's Bayon Wang. If you get an advance of 1500 and then you find that you don't qualify for the full 3000 you're actually going to have to pay back the difference. And that's why some parents are considering whether it's a good idea to opt out of President Biden's monthly child tax credit payments. I know that the tax credit could be a big benefit to some families. However, at this point in time, we didn't feel like it would actually benefit us. In fact, it could do quite the opposite, according to tax expert Carlos Castro. The advanced payments are based off your 2020 income, which for many families plummeted during the brunt of the pandemic. That's why Castro cautions people to take a closer look at their expected 2021 income. For married couples that make more than 150000 And you would not be eligible for that advance, and therefore you would... A, either pay it back or B, your refund would be reduced accordingly. Same goes for single parents or heads of household who make more than $112,500. If this sounds like you, well, be prepared to verify your identity with the IRS if you indeed plan on opting out. The process was extensive. Extensive for your own good, according to cybersecurity expert Mark Ostrowski. It's going through great lengths to, again, to, to be sure that your information is secured. At least a lot more secure than what some of us do daily. If you plan on opting out, you'll be asked to give up a lot of personal information, just about all of which the IRS already has. However, for many, it's better than cutting a paycheck at tax time. As you compare that to your social media accounts, where you're, again, you're offering up pictures and information, that could also be, also be in some ways, that could be more worrisome than uploading it in a secure process with this, with this robust authentication. I'm Bayan Wang, Denver 7.